What's going on guys? As always, thank you so much for checking out my channel. Today we're going to be making some spatchcock chicken. <coughs> Sorry guys, that was Randall. We used his brother to make this video. Basically all the spatchcock means is the way in which we cut the chicken. We're going to be removing the backbone of the chicken and kind of filleting it so it lays down flat. That's all a spatchcock really is and that's how we're going to cook it on the grill. Get the hell out of here, Randall. Alright guys, so all spatchcock really means is that we are taking out the backbone. This is incision all the way across the back. We take out the backbone, we flip this guy inside out. So when it's laying down, it's gonna lay down way breast up, but it's gonna be nice and flat. It's gonna give you a little bit more surface area when you're doing your cook. Uh, we're just staying all the way down. You're gonna follow that bone all the way down. So here's the backbone right here, and you're gonna follow this all the way down through to the tail. All right, and there's the backbone right there. Just got this sucker off of here. So now, as you can see, the thing is wide open. Gosh, this reminds me of an episode of Vikings. Inside here, you got your little wishbone right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a knife, crack right through that. Careful not to go too crazy deep. Just want it cracked. So now, that, that's how you spatchcock a chicken. That's literally all you're doing. You're taking out the backbone and you're laying this sucker down flat. All right, as far as seasoning goes, we are keeping it extremely simple. We're gonna use some Mediterranean sea salt and we've got some black pepper. We're gonna be crushing this. It's gonna be kind of coarse, but we want that skin to get nice and crispy. So we're also gonna be using some oil as a binder to help this stuff stick. Oil right here. Rub this stuff in. Again, on the upside. Again, we're not grilling the hell out of the top of this. We want this to look nice and pretty. So again, this side is gonna sit up. Obviously the bone side gonna be down, gonna be a little bit closer to that heat. So we're gonna be using my Weber kettle. We're gonna load it up with some B&B charcoal I'm going to be using a slow and sear insert. Uh, basically, it keeps the coals off on one side. It's got a little trough where you can put some water so that as it steams, uh, the water is going to help the chicken retain moisture throughout the cook. Now this accessory here is called a slow and sear. It keeps the hot coals off on one side while uh, leaving kind of a cool side on the other side. It's gonna be able to cook your food with convection. All right, it's got dual purposes. The other side, the charcoal side, uh, is gonna be great for grilling up something fast or searing off your meat really quickly and give it that really nice and charred taste. All right, here we're adding some water into our water pan. The water is gonna be right up next to the hot coals, so it's gonna steam and help retain moisture throughout the cook. A couple of times throughout the cook, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in some of these mesquite wood chips. Uh, it's just going to add a little bit more of a smoky flavor. Uh, I think they impart a great flavor when it comes to chicken. And the bird is going on. Once we get this thing closed up and we're able to get it back up to temp, uh, we'll probably check this thing in about 30 to 35 minutes.
So I've got the bottom vent opened up about eh, about a half of an inch. On top here, you can see I got it opened up about a quarter of an inch. And we are holding steady at about 375. That's what I'm gonna be cooking on uh, throughout the duration of this cook. And now that it's been about a half hour, we are checking and seeing where we're at as far as temps go. Remember, we need to hit 165 internally. Uh, so right now it's telling me that we're probably got another another 20 minutes before we're going to go ahead and check this again. So you'll see when I put the lid on, we are flipping the vents over the chicken because we want the heat to pass over the chicken as it cooks. All right, it's been about another 20 minutes. We're going to get this off and uh, check it with the probe real quick. Oh yeah. Sitting about 145. I think probably another 15 minutes and this bird is gonna be done. chicken rest for a good half hour sitting here on the cutting board there's a ton of juice on the inside of this thing all the moisture is still kind of redistributed all throughout I went ahead and took the foil off already but we put foil on the top of it to make sure that it could sit there and be nice and cool and kind of just calm down a little bit because it was it was pretty hot for there there for a minute um, I'm gonna get my knife we're gonna go ahead and chop this thing up as you can see look at all the juice just kind of running off the board first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take off the legs it's the easiest thing in the world all you got to really do is kind of find where the joint meets up put your knife through came off easy as that look at that perfect all right do the same thing on this side easy look at that got my legs here next gonna find the tip of the bone Put the knife in and just cut down into it. Rest. Still juicy. Look at that. Cut the wings off here. We got one wing and drumette right there. Another wing and drumette. Boom. So right there guys, we got two breasts, two wings, and then our leg quarters. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this all the time, but just to kind of show you, you can't already tell by all the juice on the board. There's a whole drum, or whole leg rather. I was going to go like this, guys. You ready? See that? That is crazy juicy. So actually, before we get too far into it, this breast is absolutely calling my name. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to half this guy. Look at that. I'm actually... Cut a couple of pieces here. Oh yeah, pretty messy guys, but sorry I'm doing the best I can. This chicken's still pretty hot. <laughs> Look at that. All right, as always, it's time for a taste test.
Guys, as always, if you like these videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please, if you get a chance, also give it a share so we can kind of spread some more awareness about what I'm trying to do here on the channel. Thank you so much again for checking us out. Have a good day.